YouTube, today we're taking a look at a legend who I consider to be one of the best legends for territorial control in Apex Legends. Caustic is a one-of-a-kind legend that has a lot going for him in his current state in Apex. His ability to trap up enemies, control areas of the map, and toy with his enemies is really what makes Caustic special. Not to mention Caustic has some of the greatest one-liners in the game. There's a lot you can do with Caustic, so with that, let's get you on your way to mastering Caustic in Apex Legends. It's simple, really. <laughs> I'm just better than you. First up, everyone, this video is releasing during Season 7 of Apex. If you are watching this video towards the end of Season 7 or during a future season, look at the pinned comment down below. Any changes that will be affecting this guide are going to be listed down there. If nothing is listed, then this guide is still relevant and Caustic has had no big changes. Either way, I don't really expect Caustic to undergo any big changes in the near future. If you guys want more legend guides, we have a handful that are already up on the channel, so go check them out. The linked playlist will be down below. And as always, hit that like button, it does help the video get noticed, and subscribe to the channel for more guys, tips, and gameplay goodness for Apex Legends Season 7 and moving forward. If you have any questions Apex related, drop a comment down below, I answer all comments, and join the community discord, or join one of my Twitch streams, and we can discuss anything and everything Apex related. The very first thing I want to mention is the couple changes Caustic underwent during the launch of Season 7. First up, enemies and friendlies no longer get blurred vision while in the gas effect, and the second change was that the gas was buffed in damage from 4 to 10 to 6 to 12 ticks of damage per second. The changes are minimal, however, the damage buff is nice for Caustic, and the removal of blurred vision is a pretty big deal. This was honestly the biggest and most frustrating part of Caustic gas before, and now this does give enemy legends a fighting chance when they are going up against a Caustic. Overall though, I think the Caustic gas is still extremely deadly, and this is nothing to joke around about. The first ability for us to talk about is Caustic's passive ability called Nox Vision. This gives Caustic an immunity to gas his own and enemies, as well as this will highlight enemies in green when they are in the gas taking damage. This effect is similar to a digital threat, but you do not need to aim down sights for the enemy to be highlighted. This vision effect does not work on other caustics as well, so keep that in mind. Secondly, caustic is a big boy. He is a fortified legend. This means you will take less damage and you are immune to slow down effects from bullets. Caustic's passive is pretty self-explanatory and not quite as big of a deal as the next ability. Caustic's tactical ability is called the Nox Gas Trap, and this is where Caustic has the most going for him. We're going to show off a bunch of specific examples on how you can use these traps and eventually his ultimate, but first let's go over what these gas traps do. The gas traps do damage to enemy players starting at 6 damage and go all the way up to 12 every second depending on how long the enemies are staying in the gas. The gas does damage to enemies health and not the shields. And finally, the gas does slow down enemies movement making it more difficult for them to get away when they're in the gas. You can hold up to 3 charges at once meaning you can easily deploy a net of gas traps out quite quickly. Up to 6 gas traps can be placed on the ground at once, however when you place a 7th trap this will remove the first trap that was placed. You can also pick up unused traps and it will give back a charge for the traps. This is great if you need to move locations shortly after putting down all your gas traps. Gas traps can be shot while inflating and this stops them from activating. Or, if they are already placed, you just need to shoot the base of the traps to make them deflate without setting the gas off. The first great clip I want to share with you is that these gas traps will give you awareness to enemy locations when they go off. Even if you are not looking in the direction of the traps, you'll still get an audible mention and the damage ticks will show up on your screen. This is a great thing for awareness when you need to track down your enemies. In this clip, we are rotating away from this big hill and the final team all of a sudden goes up the zipline and my trap goes off. We immediately know to turn around and push up the hill to get control of the situation, which leads to us getting a win. The enemy players seem to be at complete disarray when we arrive. This leads me to another tip, and that is the fact that the gas will cause extreme panic when an enemy runs into it when they are least expecting it. A well-placed trap can help achieve this time and time again. This brings us to the importance of placing your traps down in strategic locations depending on how you want them to be used. This could mean next to a door or in front of a door depending on the type of engagement that you want to have. 
Are you trying to bait someone in? Then maybe placing the trap next to a door so when they enter, it will hit them. If you want to keep enemies out, then maybe gassing right in front of the door is a great way to stop this. It is almost impossible for an enemy player to push into a building effectively if the gas trap is blocking the doorway, so keep this in mind. The next tip is the fact that you can use the cost of gas to get yourself some cover in sticky situations. His gas is almost like a Bangalore smoke but also does damage. Of course it doesn't have quite the same range as a smoke, but it's still great to use in this type of environment. You can shoot the gas canisters like in this clip and this is a great way to provide yourself with cover and to deter enemies from pushing into your location. This is a great way to make that clutch revive or getting a heal off. In this clip I am trying to get the enemies to either push into my gas that I am bathing in because they are getting impatient or I'm trying to get them to just leave us alone so we can recover. Or I'm waiting for a third party to show up. All this is me buying time to make the engagement a little bit longer and have them make a mistake that plays into my hand. In my opinion, there is no better legend in the game when you're trying to control a building or an area than Caustic. Caustic's hallway and building play is top tier, best in the game. Especially if the enemy doesn't know what they are pushing into. I almost exclusively try to keep my rotations and engagements with this in mind. I am always trying to get the enemy to play into my hand and that is extremely evident by this clip right here. We get into an extremely bad situation and we have to go down into this little hallway. Little do they know I am going to gas up this hallway like crazy. I'm gassing up not only to have them stay out of this hallway while we recover. I'm able to get up both of my teams in revives here. And they're still trying to push us into the gas and they are just completely trying to go hard onto us right here. And we end up actually taking the win from them by all this gas. If we did not have any gas here, there's no way we would have got out of this alive. And there's no way we would have got this win. So my big tip for caustic gas is really to get them to push into buildings with you and to try to play a little bit more conservative when you are using your gas canisters. You do not want to get caught out in the open with Caustic. It can be extremely bad because he doesn't have a lot of movement. Moving on to Caustic's ultimate ability, and there's not much of a difference between the gas and his ultimate, but we will go over it quickly here. The gas in this ultimate still does six damage and the damage is similar to the traps. It does not stack with the gas traps, meaning you cannot have a gas trap and the ultimate hurting someone at the same time. A couple great tips for the ultimate ability that I would love for you guys to consider is one that you can gas into a Bangalore smoke ability if they are trying to hide. If you throw this ultimate down in the smoke, it causes complete chaos. Not only are they not hidden from the smoke anymore because you can see them through the gas, but it also makes them extremely confused as to where you are as well. Gas can be deadly in the final circles of a battle also because of the close proximity between all the enemies. In my opinion though, the ultimate ability is a much better tactical option than to actually do damage with. However, throwing it right at an enemy before a push like in this clip is a great way to catch your enemies off guard and get the drop on them quite efficiently. You can use the ultimate to block hallways much like the gas canisters and the ultimate does have a much bigger area than a gas canister so this is something to keep in mind you can also of course use the ultimate to revive someone much like the gas canisters and this does give you a little bit better cover than the gas traps there's not much more to say about the ultimate but the ultimate is a great tool to have however it's really the gas traps in my opinion where caustic shines moving on i want to just briefly discuss my overall ranking for caustic and where he stands in the meta of apex plus a couple more tips with caustic for you guys one is again that you want enemies to play into your hand being more passive can help with this but also knowing when to be aggressive with the gas is crucial caustic really has no movement abilities and a very large hitboxes so try to stay out of the open when possible which goes back to just learning when to push and when to bait enemies into your hand. My suggested loyouts for Caustic is to really err on the side of closer to mid-range combo of weapons. You really want to be able to damage someone up close because that's really the kind of engagements that you're trying to get into. But you definitely also want to try to have some sort of medium-range weapon, maybe like a flatline or a hemlock, 
just so you can do a little bit more damage if you do have to rotate through the open. My overall ranking for Caustic in today's meta puts him on the upper side of things, most likely a top five to top seven type of legend. He is definitely solid and can be higher or lower on this list depending on the skill level of the person playing him. He's definitely a little bit harder of a legend to master than some of the other legends in the game. If you have been sleeping on Caustic, there is no better time to pick him up than now. He's extremely powerful and he has always been good in the meta of Apex. And that is everything to get you on your way to mastering Caustic in Apex. Let me know what you guys think of this video. What do you think of Caustic? Is he a good legend? Is he a bad legend? I kind of like him. I don't play him too often, but he's definitely someone I don't mind picking up if I gotta. If you guys like this video again, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Apex content on the way. Of course, you can stop by one of my Twitch streams. We stream almost daily, 8 p.m. Eastern. I appreciate all the support on all these YouTube videos, guys. It means the world to me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out, everyone.